One of the best thing I like about the new the Android device right now like they are coming with the AMOLED phones. So AMOLED panels are really super super cool. You can easily make your phone complete black with kind of you know contrasting texture and skin back on that one. So everybody loves AMOLED panels and the black themes UI and it is even much better if your phone manufacturer the OS manufacturer does support it. So taking an example this is one plus three right here. So it does give you black theme. Uh, unlike considering other manufacturers say the star google and the nexus phones it doesn't give you that feature uh, if you just go here in the background setting you can see everything is white so it doesn't look quite good i mean what is the sense of giving you amulet panels when you don't give such options so this is android or right now so you can see uh, even definitely you're going to prefer the black one anyway guys so today in this video i'm going to guide you how you can add your black theme to the quick settings so right now you can see just to give you an example this is one plus three 3d and if i just uh, down it here you can see this is gray all right so you might be wondering like uh, um, why is not black always so everybody wishes so thing so anyway here you can see now it is completely black so this is gray versus black right now so in this video i'm going to guide you how you can add the complete dark quick settings to your devices now as of now uh, there is a few requirement this thing is only working as of now in oneplus 3 and 3d so, so that doesn't mean like it's not going to come for the devices it is going to come very soon you guys have to follow me on the subscribe me on this channel so that i will give you guys update so i'm just swiping now again here you can see on the screenshot uh, this is completely black here you can see uh, you can uh, pretty much add whatever you know uh, background you wanted to so i'm just going to guide you how you can do that so already my 3t has uh, one plus three has this thing now i'm going to show you how you can do on the 3t so few things first this uh, thing is only working as of now in the one plus three and 3t all right so it is as of now on the development stage so developers are actively working on those things so in future hopefully you should get uh, most of the device supported so i will give you guys updated for that thing and also your device has to be rooted that is the second most important condition otherwise it's not possible and preferably if you have super SU, that is super cool you're very good to go now you need certain set of files so check the video description uh, this thing is found on the xda forum and go and read out everything read the comments like what kind of problem people start getting all right so First off, let me adjust the brightness here. Now it is very great. So you need few files. First of all, the custom files. This is the custom uh, QS that is custom quick setting version 0.5.6. And I hope there should be an updated version very soon. So this is uh, as of now updated on 23rd March. And you need a background so that you can add it. And there is a one drawback here. I did found that you can see uh, this is not actually uh, updating the you know settings panel for the quick settings. Uh, this this is status bar section. That should be preferably black then it's very great but it's not doing that thing. anyways no problem whatever we get it is very great so and uh, you need and uh, also that wallpaper need to be on uh, the resolution of preferably 1080 by 800 so it's very great then it will be completely optimized according to your screen because that should be uh, you know this is 1920 by 1080 1080 by this portion is 800 that's why it's 1080 by 800 so you can install this gif file via any application say flashify flash fire twerp, whatever you prefer you can install it that way all right now how you can do that first off you need to uh, create a folder inside your internal storage internal storage use any of the file manager go to internal storage and create a folder and name it as a in the capital letters qs that is the quick settings you guys have to exactly follow the same step and preferably if you want take a twerp backup if something goes wrong you know who knows so there is your folder named uh, qs now there is a file that wallpaper you have to copy inside that same directory which you created qs and you have to rename that file to custom qs.png and it should be png file that is also very important point and if you try a jpeg file it won't work rename it to the exactly name as a custom qs all right uh, watch it carefully you should rename it as a custom qs.png it should be png and you can pick out any volver you want anything you want so and also in case you want to future change again you guys have to put out new image here remove the original file and rename the new file as a custom qs.png install the gif file again okay, now you have to install that gif file so i'm going to use my twerp manager it's very easy since I have already stored twerp so very easy click here click on the stall thing and don't show again here add your file and 
my file inside this in download directory here's the one this is custom qs file install all right nice now so let me quickly go to the twerp so it has uh, flashed the file installation complete and it's processing this so fast it just reboot once it is rebooted you should get that thing now we'll quickly verify whether we got that thing or not so we got the device back and now quickly see whether we got that thing or not so that should work game so you can see our complete uh, theme has been flagged so i'm not able to show you guys exactly i'm just going to show you a screenshot so this is the screenshot you can see it's completely black and originally it was on the top side as you can see uh, that the front of the status bar section where you can see this uh, time 8 25 am so it looks like that one so it's pretty great now let's try to see how you can change uh, and add a new file here i'm just going to copy a new file with a resolution of 1080 by 800 now guys i'm quickly going to you know add the red theme here because my phone has red rebrand skin so it's uh, pretty better you know if we add the red one here that will show you exactly how does it looks like so this is again the same 1080 by 800 you can use the ms paint and do that so quickly going to the uh, solid explorer my favorite file manager and i'm just going to it should be here this is the one now to remove the existing file all you need to do uh, just go to the again same your internal storage where you have this qs folder created there's the file you just have to paste it here it should replace it and you want to remember a new one here so we got the new file here no this is yeah, this is right actually it's not showing here anyways this is png that's why now after that you need to again flash this uh, custom files i'm just going to use my twerp manager again so i should install that thing here install edg file going quickly to downloads this is custom qs so flash now let's see i'm quickly coming back after flashing this thing so we have got the device rebooted and it's time to check out whether we got the red one or not so give it a try whether you got or not i'm hoping i should get it so so cool you can see Oh my god, it looks so fantastic. I, mean, I never even saw that. My phone is red and I got the red skin on here, this red background also. There you have it guys, you can apply any wallpaper, whatever you want. I'm just summarizing again. So please take a complete phone backup. And this is as of now working for the OnePlus 3 and 3T, but in future, maybe in coming days, it, it should get a lot of device supported. So I'll give you guys updated on that. So be sure to subscribe here. And you need a file. This is working as of now. Screen 3D. That's what I said. You need a zip file here. This is called custom qs05.zip. And in case you don't want to install it, there is a remover file too. You just have to flash that. You'll get your default original wallpaper back there. But anyway, that's fine. And uh, you need a PNG file, not the JPEG file. PNG file, and it should be renamed as a custom qs.png. And after that, create a folder inside internal storage, whatever file manager you are using. Preferably try to use the Solid Explorer because you know. Uh, if I've shown you the demo the same one, so you should use that thing and create a folder named QS in the capital letters. Copy the custom QS.gif file, uh, this uh, PNG file, then flash that GIF file using any of the file manager using ADBs, you know, uh, by ADB side load or whatever you're doing, uh, Flashify, Flashify, Trap Manager, whatever prefer way you are doing, do that thing. All right, then reboot the phone and you should get that thing good to go. So now, this is what this is your new custom quick setting tiles look like so that's it guys thank you so much for watching do let me know in the comments and please share your images whatever you have added at the twitter at the gi support or also on my facebook page so this is sarab and i will catch you very soon have a great day